Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna play some Plague Inc. today. I know it's about basically you just have to release a virus upon the world and kill as many people as you can. Hopefully, you kill them all. So, uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna really explain it because that's basically it. I'm just gonna hop right into it with you guys. So, here we go. Alrighty. I, uh, I don't know. Let's just jump into the game. I really don't care. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Bacteria. Everything else is locked. Okay, I guess we're going with bacteria. Modify genetic code. Insert gene. Okay. I guess we don't get. All right, we don't get anything. We're just a regular bacteria. We're gonna go with casual because it's my first time. What do you want to name your? What do you want to name it? We're gonna name it um uh. Tad. Get it? I hope so. Well, I mean, I hope you don't get Tad. Whatever the disease. Never mind. Let's just continue. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all human in the ultimate plague. Select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm, or click another country instead. Alright, what country do we hate? Actually, I'm not going to use the word hate, because then people are going to actually think I'm serious. Uh, big populations, big populations. Let's go with China. And then what do we click? The bubble? Oh, that bubble. Go. Alright, we got one infected. Right, we gotta get more DNA points to infect more people. We have one. Can we put stuff into it now? Oh, look. We can do this stuff. Birds become susceptible to infection. Avian carries increased infectivity. Land transfer. Transmission and mutation. Common flea. Increased infectivity, especially in urban regions, and mutation. Insects of infection. Carrier insects increase infectivity, especially in hot climates, and chances of mutation. Livestock. Increased infectivity, especially in rural regions, and mutations. It gives organism ability to spread through blood to blood contact. Increased infectivity, especially in poor regions, and mutation chains. Pathogens survive outside the body in fresh, warm water. Increased infectivity, especially in human environments, and ship transmission. Gives passenger ability to travel or dust particles, increase infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission. Okay. Uh, 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 we're gonna go with this one. Oh, wait, I can't yet. I don't have enough. Well, okay, that is. Can I spend anything? Probably not. Alright. Let's get back to it then. Alrighty, so I guess some stuff going on. We still got one infected. What am I supposed to do? Why is it going so slow? It takes forever. A little pinpoint. There you go. Fast forward a little bit. There. Oh, we got three infected. Four. Good. Good. We got two points. What's that? Pop orange DNA bubbles when they randomly appear to get bonus DNA points, which you can use to evolve your disease. Ooh. Thank you. So we got five disease points. Six. Pad is spreading from person to person in China and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. Alright, well then let's evolve it then. What do we want to do? Overview. Transmission? Symptoms or abilities? Pathogen evolves to withstand cold temperature and climates. Create bacteria shelter to protect against all climates. I like the sound of that, but I think we should actually get transmission going a little bit here. All we got is enough for livestock. Susceptible to infection increases in infectivity, especially in rural regions of mutation, but I don't want to spend that. I want to like something better so we're just gonna wait a little bit we're gonna wait it out a little bit guys Here we go transmission do we want what do we want how do we want to transmit our disease uh i'm gonna go with bird yep bird it is you have spent dna points to evolve your disease and more options have opened up get more points by popping dna and biohazard bubbles and infecting people i will do just that Plague Inc. is a hyper-realistic model of the world, playing a strategy and involve your disease according by spending DNA points. Alright, so did I start on a good point? Because China's really populated, right? And they export a lot of stuff. Uh, click the country name at the bottom of the screen to open the country menu. Oop. Infected hundreds in China, increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a healthy person and keep evolving your disease. Oh, I will, don't you worry. What do I do? I gotta click that. Oh, here we go. Business as usual. Healthy, infected, dead, nothing. 
and there nobody's doing anything against them yet, so that's good. I'll be taking that. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's. Uh, we want to do symptoms. No, symptoms make it a little bit more difficult to um, hide. Pathogen involves to stay in hot during the climate. Resist to class one and two antibiotics increase effectively in one of the countries. Let's go with that. So it's resistant to antibiotics if they do start doing something against it. Because uh, we're actually gonna lay back on. We got more points to spend. Yeah, like I was saying, transmission we're gonna. No, not transmission. Symptoms we're gonna lay off because that gives people the idea of something's wrong and they're gonna like try to put more effort to trying to stop it. So uh, I'm actually gonna keep going with abilities and transmission for now. Uh, let's go into the water supply, actually. Uh, no, that's in what? Especially in human environments and ship transmission. So we're in China, so there's a lot of, a lot of regular just. Uh, so um, faster ability to travel in dust particles, especially in environments in plane transmission, arid environments. Is that is China really arid? I don't really know. Especially in poor regions, mutation chains. You know, let's go with that, so we can get the bloody blood. So we can get people that, you know, are just really irresponsible and do drugs to uh, pass it on for me for free. Yeah, like I said, we're going to pass off on that for now because we don't want lethality. Tad has mutated and developed an nausea symptom without using DNA points. Well, that kind of sucks. What do we hit? Afghanistan. Oh, now we're spreading. Now we're getting somewhere, guys. 16. All right. So transmission. What else do we want to transmit by rats? Let's just go. Let's go with the water supply. Look at our look. Our bacteria is actually changing. It's pretty sweet. All right, we got another place. Yeah. All right. So we hit Mexico. Oh, we hit some other places too. Ted has infected more people in the world than HIV. I don't know if I should be proud of this or not. Like, I feel proud because I'm doing a really good job, but at the same time, I feel kind of bad about it because Pat has mutated developed vomiting symptom without his need. Okay, I need to stop getting symptoms any more transmission then. So we got water. Let's go with air particles. And then next we'll go with insects. That's 13, we're at seven. So we got nausea and vomiting. So We actually want to stop them from being able to find out a cure for it, so we're going to evolve that. It makes it harder for them to figure out a cure, and it makes it easier for us to spread. Boom. Boom. In a normal checkup, a doctor in China found a new disease which has been named TAD. It appeared to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. Alright, see, it's still harmless. That's what we wanted. Unfortunately, I feel like um, you guys are going to think I'm actually like a nice time. Doing it, but you know, 26. Holy crap, how do we get so many already? All right, so we want more abilities actually. But it's not reproducing lab conditions, decrease future research speed, so we want that to evolve. Passing DNA strains reassembled. reassembled, more work needed to develop a cure. Resistance class 3 and 4 antibiotics, increase effectiveness in wealthy countries. All right, good. Let's keep it that way. We're at 28. Okay, so. So, do we want. We want more ability, right? Let's go resistance 14. So resist the hot temperatures, resistant the cold temperatures. And what's that? Create bacteria sort of protect against all climates. That'd be that would have been a better idea than before. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't read ahead of time now. It was always helpful to read. Tad has mutated and developed the rash symptom without using DNA points. Okay, rash is okay. I can deal with that. As long as it doesn't get anything serious, like death. Okay, so they just started researching in China. Has anybody closed borders towards anything? I think we hit everywhere. Except for... Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. So they're getting... Doing research, so we need to get more... DNA strains resemble more work needed to develop a cure. Let's go with that. Uh, that... 
new strand of the patch that now exists, increasing the work needed to develop a cure. We're gonna keep doing that. We just want to keep spreading it and spreading it and spreading it. So I'm gonna reduce the cure, and now we're gonna start working on actually the spreading portion. First death from Tad has been confirmed in Australia. Bad luck, or at the beginning of something terrible. All right, all right. Uh, so we want more transition then. We want the means of livestock of rodents that leaves us with 11 DNA points so what we really do now is start doing some symptoms but I don't want to do symptoms yet I want to back away from symptoms first so we're just gonna keep letting it go look at that I'm spreading all over the place Spain has become the first country to try to limit the spread of tab by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if this will work. Spain's already screwed. Look at him, he's covered. And with that being said, transmission, we're going to increase it with let's air. Avian brain tissue compromise causing birds to attack other species, increased mutation, infectivity, and land based transmission. Rodents are clearly susceptible to infection, increased infectivity, especially in urban regions, and mutation. healthy person on the planet recently became infected with tat. Okay, so the whole world's infected. Now we just gotta kill him. Indonesia started to send research teams to infect to infected countries, hoping to speed up development of a cure for tad, pop blue bubbles to destroy the research. Blue cure bubbles appear when a research team from Indonesia finds something, pop them to destroy the research and stop the cure from speeding up. Get out of here. Killed over 75 million people worldwide, worse than the Black Death. Cure is 50% complete. Crap. We might lose this one. Uh, six is not enough. Actually, came to six, I don't know. Okay, so the cure is being deployed. That sucks. Yep. Coughing and vomiting are caused the infection of projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of Ted. Everybody's getting cured. Gosh, darn it. And that's game over. Actually, I guess I could have done abilities. No. That would have been a lot of DNA points, and I don't have it. 53, 32, 19, 11, 6, 3, 1. The world has survived the best to play, and will soon eradicate Tad forever. Although much of the world is dead, the survivors can rebuild and carry humanity forward. Alright, so pretty much that means we lost and uh, I suck apparently. I think I put way too much in trying to spread it and not enough to killing people. Yep, plague eradicated defeat. Tad has been destroyed by humanity, joining smallpox and critter pests, diseases that have been successfully eradicated. Alright guys, so that's uh, Plague Inc. evolved for you. I think I did pretty good at first, but I think I put way too much effort into trying to spread it and not enough effort into trying to kill it or kill people. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. Uh, check out our previous videos. Leave comments. We love comments. Not getting a lot of them. And with that being said, share the videos too. Share it with your pet fish. Share it with your crazy neighbor down the street who just stays in his house all the time in his room. Just, you know, I don't know he's, actually that's probably you because that's you right now, I think. Uh, so share it with yourself. Share it with your grandparents, your parents, your friends, your brothers, sister, etc., etc. Just share the love. And with that being said, I bid you all farewell, and I will see you guys later. Adios. Hey guys, if you like our videos, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well, right below me, right there. Take it easy, guys. See you later.